Hey guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Li Jean Suk. Li Jean Suk. Okay, and we have the world here. So something is completely closed out for a cycle. We have adjacent possibilities. So there's a bunch of different doors here that are possibilities to take when it comes to a caring connection for Li, Li, what is it? Li Young Suk, sorry. <laughs> All right, and oof, deceit, yuck. On the bottom of the deck, goddess of the moon. So somebody might not show their cards to this person of deceit or this person of deceit is behind the moon hiding something here when it comes to a caring connection so something's going on <laughs> we have 29 24 14 25 and 52 so someone might be 52 25 24 29 Ooh, the lovers somebody's in love <laughs> All right, what else for Lee Young Suk? Lee Young Suk, please. Ooh, 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 ooh. That's... Okay, somebody's coming out of financial constraints or feeling like left out in the cold, but not willing to take that leap of faith. Uh, too risky. So they haven't healed yet, and there's unrequited love here. And somebody thinks they're badass, but really not so much. <laughs> Let's see. I got three more cards for Lee Young Suk. We have eight of cups. Somebody walking away. I don't feel like this person is healed and they're much happier for it with the sun or the sun may reveal what is hidden here. With the hermit in reverse, I kind of feel like um, they didn't do the work though. I got the queen of wands and the seven of swords in reverse as well. So... Hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel with that hermit card there that there's maybe somebody has been rejected or is just lonely, you know, wanting to be around somebody, wanting to love or find love, some caring connections, looking at what doors are open. But there's somebody maybe trying to keep you stuck here or keep you from healing. This rejection though is because somebody doesn't have love here with the six of pentacles in reverse. <sighs> hmm. It looks like it could be this queen of wands here she might explain a truth here. She might have got caught in the act. Maybe having to confess something here. Or somebody has to confess to this queen of wands. Take it how it resonates. <laughs> but somebody did definitely walk away. They're happier for it. And somebody gets a confession about it. That there's not enough love here. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah, the hangman in reverse. So, hmm. Hangman in reverse. I kind of feel like it's more having to repeat this lesson again. Even though they walked away, there's no healing done here. They maybe didn't go after what they wanted to go for and they settled.
for something less until they had the courage to walk away. And, you know, with that hangman in reverse, it's still kind of feeling like that's definitely um, repeating the lesson, avoiding something here. Yeah, avoiding a situation. Maybe realizing there's deceit behind it, but maybe not able, maybe not trusting themselves enough. Maybe having that self-doubt there. Let's get the love cards and see what comes up here. For the lovers, please. Oh, twofer. We have wedding rings and a date. Wow, meeting someone new, dating, get out, getting out, back out there, plan a date, set a date, union, wedding, married, soul connection. Wow, that was fast. Well, it is on the love. There is a date, and then there's wedding rings, and that's maybe they just know that they're meant to be together. We have camera here, reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learning from the past, making moments. So somebody maybe got out of a karmic situation here because their finances are definitely getting better with the five of pentacles in reverse and i kind of feel like it's a a really good positive change and with the fool in reverse somebody feels like maybe getting into this relationship is a bit risky there's no trust mm, engagement rings so Maybe there's talk about marriage or what these two want when it comes to love, when they go on their date. Maybe there is um, some type of connection. They both want the same things. They're talking about what they learned from the past, possibly. Um, feeling it might be too risky to take an engagement ring so quickly. Let's see, knowing this because with the Hermit in reverse, it could be some type of rejection. This person could have said no to the engagement ring, feeling it was too risky to do so. What's the hermit? Wow. Twin flame. Wow. Okay. Balance, union, duality, coupling. Completing each other. We have the golden mirror. Self-absorbed narcissist here. And talking. Interested conversing, awaiting messages, text, call, email, hovering. So they may be kind of clinging, <laughs> clinging to this person. Could be that this is definitely meant to be with this twin flame. Could be they're really balanced with their feminine and masculine, but this twin flame, this could be... Um, this rejection, rejection of this twin flame union. They may feel like this other person is self-absorbed or, um, well, it's like a one-sided relationship. And maybe they talk about this, interesting, um, interested in conversing, um, having a message. So let's see, what's the six of pentacles then? What is that here for? Photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, but there, it's coming up on the six of pentacles, one-sided love, okay? What's this badass in reverse here? Why is that in reverse? Why is badass in reverse, please? Axe, breakup, okay, so there is a breakup here. Um, stop the pattern. Yeah, silent treatment or abandonment. So, felt it was too risky with the engagement. Um, maybe they talked things over. Maybe um, wanting to make these new me uh, memories, but it's they're yeah they're missing this person. But there's a breakup here, a set uh, separation. Somebody isn't getting back to this person that reaches out. What's this Eight of Cups here? Definitely walking away from this person. Okay, and we have Cassette here. Outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. Yeah, just wanting to get the heck out of there. 
just not um, open to new things or something along those lines. The sun, seduction. <laughs> Somebody's decided that they're going to use their body to try to win this person back, and the seduction will make them happy for the short term. <laughs> so, and then there is a confession. A truth revealed here with the Seven of Swords in reverse. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Boat. Receiving what you need. Moving on. Closing issues. So I feel like this person had to get rid of this. Maybe dating this person. But with them being a twin flame, usually they learn a lesson before they get back together. And it's usually they hurt each other. And then it's a runner chaser kind of dynamic here. So what's on the bottom of the deck? Heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, perfect. And I feel like with the hanged one here, I feel like... Uh, this is a repeat lesson when it comes to heart with the key, welcoming love, investing in love, meeting the one, opening their heart, time together. And I feel like this person knows what they want. Now, whether this is Lee uh, Jung Suk or if this is the future spouse, somebody here is not... Um, having this it looks like it's a breakup there's confession here about something here we could find out a little bit more about this confession what's the seven of swords here Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right yeah mind games gossip and this kind of goes in with that deceit there and then the chariot in reverse as well and the chariot in reverse is being stuck um arguments living in the past perhaps and maybe it wasn't a good place yeah but with the page of swords here um somebody's playing games that's that deceit so somebody's doing the most they confess to what they were doing trying to hold them back from moving forward so there you go and I feel like this is the person that I feel like this is not Lee Young Suk I feel like this is his person his person is having this run-in with this person maybe dating people and saying what they want thinking that that's what's going to happen and then somebody uh, wants to get married right away or hanging on to their energy maybe being too codependent and they decided no this isn't what they wanted and they let this person go so I feel like more the spouse here this feels like more uh, feminine energy uh, saying goodbye to a masculine so but that is what I have for Lee, um, Lee Jong Suk. Yeah, things are being revealed with the moon card in reverse. So a truth revealed here. So that does happen, but it is enough to have this person move on, close these issues, taking off. I feel on this on a boat. Even <laughs> it could e it could even be a boat. <laughs> so. Leon Suk, um, whatever's coming uh, will come after this, I feel. Let's find out how long this might take. We have Capricorn here, and it says eight. We have Leo here, and we have six, between six and eight months, weeks. I'm going to say weeks or months. So Capricorn, Leo, and then we have Libra, we have Aries, 
and we have Sagittarius. So that could be um, these other two, this future spouse and whoever they're with could be their signs or it could be Leon six uh, natal chart. But when this cycle closes out here with the world, there's many possibilities for this feminine with for caring connections and i feel like she's met this deceit right here with this confession and everything else that she gets here for this queen of wands she is the goddess of the moon i feel so she may be very intuitive um of people's lies or who they truly are. And with this moon card in reverse, this is um, saying that things are being revealed. A truth is being revealed. A confession has come up. And that is exactly what this card means as well. So, yeah. Yeah, I do feel like this is the future spouse, the feminine energy of Lee Young Suk. So, in a few months, he's going to, between six and eight months, they will meet. So we will try catching up on this one in the later months coming up. I will have it in rotation here for some of the requested readings. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And yeah, stay blessed, guys. We will see you next time. All right, take care. Later.